Did you know the moon isn't just a rock in the sky, but a place with its own unique features and mysteries? The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, has been a source of fascination since the dawn of time. It's been the subject of countless myths, the inspiration behind numerous works of art, and the destination of mankind's first interstellar journey. But what makes the moon so special? Well, for starters, it's the only celestial body beyond Earth that humans have ever set foot on. Back in the summer of 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made history when they became the first people to walk on the moon's surface. But that's not all. The moon is also the fifth largest moon in our solar system, and it's the second densest, only surpassed by Jupiter's moon, Io. The moon plays a crucial role in our lives, even if we don't always realize it. It's responsible for the ebb and flow of our ocean's tides, it lights up our night sky, and it provides a natural calendar that has guided human societies for thousands of years. Despite its proximity and apparent simplicity, the moon is anything but a dull, lifeless rock. It's a dynamic world with a complex geology. It has mountains, valleys, old volcanic sites, and a large number of impact craters from meteor strikes. Its surface is covered in a layer of fine dust known as lunar regolith, which gives the moon its characteristic glow. The moon also harbors a number of mysteries. For instance, we still don't fully understand why the moon's two sides are so different. The side facing us is covered in large, flat plains, while the far side is heavily cratered and has a thicker crust. And then there's the puzzle of the moon's formation, which is still a topic of hot debate among scientists. But the moon is far from understood. It's a place full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Our moon's birth was quite dramatic. It wasn't a peaceful event, but rather a cataclysmic collision that led to its creation. The most widely accepted theory about the moon's formation is the giant impact hypothesis, also known as the Theia impact. Picture this. About four and a half billion years ago, a young Earth was cruising through space when it had a rather unfortunate encounter. A rogue planetesimal, roughly the size of Mars, came barreling into its path. This celestial body named Theia smashed into Earth with such force that it sent a shower of debris into space. This wasn't just a little fender bender. The impact was so colossal it's believed to have melted and vaporized Theia and a significant chunk of Earth's crust and mantle. The debris from this cataclysmic event didn't just drift away into space though. It began to coalesce and over time formed the satellite we now know as the Moon. Imagine a celestial collision leading to the creation of our nearest neighbor in the cosmos. Ever wonder why we only see one side of the Moon? Well, it's all about the Moon's rotation and its orbit around Earth, which happened to be in perfect sync. This phenomenon is known as synchronous rotation. Now let's break it down. The Moon does spin, contrary to what some may think. It takes about 27 days for the Moon to complete one full rotation on its axis. Coincidentally, it also takes about the same amount of time for the Moon to orbit around Earth. This means that as the Moon is spinning, it's also orbiting, and the two actions are synchronized. Because of this, the same side of the Moon, known as the near side, is always facing Earth. The other side, the far side, remains hidden from our view. This doesn't mean the Moon is static. It's constantly in motion, spinning and orbiting, but in such a way that only one face is revealed to us. So it's not that the Moon doesn't spin, it's just perfectly timed with its orbit. The Moon's gravity is only one-sixth of Earth's, that's a fact that can be hard to wrap the head around, but it's one that has profound implications for everything on the lunar surface. This weaker pull of gravity means that the Moon's mountains, for example, can reach towering heights without collapsing under their own weight. It's also why lunar dust is so tricky. It doesn't settle as quickly as it does on Earth, making it a constant nuisance for astronauts and their equipment. Speaking of astronauts, ever wondered how they could make those giant leaps and bounds during the Apollo missions? Yep, that's the Moon's gravity at work again. Even the simple act of walking becomes a challenge, with the weaker gravitational pull turning every step into a potential leap. The reduced gravity even affects how liquids behave, with droplets taking on a more spherical shape due to the reduced gravitational pull. That's right, on the Moon you could technically jump six times higher than on Earth. 
Our moon doesn't shine, it reflects. This simple concept is the key to understanding the lunar phases. As the moon orbits Earth, it's the reflected sunlight that makes it visible to us. But here's the catch. We don't always see the full face of the moon illuminated. Why? Because as the moon travels around our planet, the angle at which sunlight hits the moon changes. When the moon is between Earth and the sun, the side facing us is in shadow. We call this a new moon. As it continues its journey, a sliver of light appears, a waxing crescent. Eventually, we see the moon fully illuminated, a full moon. Then it starts to shrink back into shadow or wane until we're back to a new moon. The moon's dance with sunlight gives us these different phases in a cycle that lasts about 28 days. So every time you admire the moon, you're actually seeing reflected sunlight. The moon isn't as quiet as it seems. Now let's delve into the fascinating world of moonquakes. Yes, you heard it right, moonquakes. These are seismic events that shake the moon, similar to the earthquakes we have here on Earth. Scientists have identified four different types of moonquakes. Deep moonquakes, shallow moonquakes, thermal moonquakes, and meteorite impact quakes. Deep moonquakes are the most common, triggered by tidal interactions between Earth and the moon. Shallow moonquakes, on the other hand, are quite rare but can be incredibly powerful, causing lunar tremors that can last for over 10 minutes. Thermal moonquakes result from the expansion of the frigid lunar surface when it warms after two weeks of lunar night. And as the name suggests, meteorite impact quakes are caused by the impact of meteorites on the moon's surface. These moonquakes provide valuable insights into the moon's interior, helping us understand its structure better. Yes, just like our Earth, the moon trembles too. Water on the moon? You heard it right. Now, before you start picturing vast lunar lakes and rivers, let's clarify. We're not talking about liquid water here, but rather we're discussing the presence of water ice. This water ice was discovered hiding in the shadows of lunar craters, particularly at the moon's poles. These are places sunlight doesn't reach, and the temperatures are so low, they can freeze water solid, storing it for billions of years. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and India's Chandrayaan-1 spacecraft were instrumental in these findings, using their advanced instruments to detect the presence of this lunar water ice. Now you may be asking, what's the significance of these icy deposits? Well, they could be a game changer for future lunar missions. For one, this water could potentially be used as a resource for astronauts, supplying drinking water and even breathable oxygen. Moreover, it could also be converted into rocket fuel, reducing the need for spacecraft to carry heavy loads of fuel from Earth. This would revolutionize lunar travel, making it more cost-effective and therefore more frequent. It could even enable the establishment of a permanent manned base on the Moon, a concept that's been the stuff of science fiction for decades. But the discovery of lunar water ice isn't just about practical applications. It also provides us with a fascinating glimpse into the Moon's past. The presence of water suggests that the Moon may not be as dry as we once thought. It hints at a more complex lunar history, with possible interactions with comets or the solar wind. So the next time you gaze up at the Moon, remember, it's not just a barren, lifeless rock. It's a world with its own secrets and surprises, one of which is the presence of water ice in its shadowy craters. This discovery brings us a step closer to the dream of a lunar base. Our moon has a profound impact on life on Earth. This might seem like an overstatement, but when you delve into the details, it becomes clear just how much sway our celestial neighbor holds over our planet. One of the most significant ways the moon influences Earth is through its gravitational pull, which is responsible for the rise and fall of ocean tides. You see, the moon's gravity pulls on Earth causing a bulge of water towards it. This bulge, coupled with the Earth's rotation, results in what we know as high tides. On the side of Earth opposite the Moon, we get another high tide due to the inertia of water. Low tides occur in areas perpendicular to the line between the Earth and Moon. So if you've ever wondered why the sea level changes throughout the day, you have the Moon to thank. But the Moon's influence doesn't stop at the water's edge. Some scientists believe that it may also impact animal behavior. Certain species, like sea turtles and certain birds, 
have been observed to base their reproductive and migratory patterns on the lunar cycle, although the exact mechanisms behind this remain a subject of ongoing research. There's even evidence to suggest that the moon played a pivotal role in the evolution of life on Earth. The moon's gravitational pull causes Earth to wobble less on its axis, leading to a more stable climate over millions of years. This stability may have helped life to thrive and evolve into the diverse array of organisms we see today. Without our moon, life as we know it could be very different. The tides could be a fraction of their current size, impacting coastal ecosystems. Animal behavior could change significantly. And Earth's climate might be far less stable, potentially making life as we know it impossible. So the next time you gaze up at the moon, remember, it's not just a beautiful sight in the night sky, it's a force that shapes our planet and our lives in ways both seen and unseen. Without our moon, life as we know it could be very different. The moon's far side, often called the dark side, is a misnomer. Yes, you heard that right. This term is steeped more in mystery and fantasy than in reality. Contrary to popular belief, the so-called dark side of the moon isn't perpetually shrouded in darkness. In fact, it's quite the opposite. The far side of the moon receives the same amount of sunlight as the side we see from Earth. It experiences day and night just like any other celestial body revolving around a star. So why do we call it the dark side? Well, it's dark only in the sense that it's unknown and unseen from our perspective here on Earth due to a phenomenon known as tidal locking. Now that we've shed some light on this misconception, let's delve into the unique features that make the far side of the moon a fascinating subject. Unlike the near side that presents the familiar pattern of dark lunar maria and lighter highlands, the far side is almost entirely covered with craters and highlands. It's a rugged, heavily cratered landscape that bears witness to the moon's violent history. One of the most striking features is the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the largest and oldest impact craters in the solar system. Stretching across a quarter of the moon's circumference, it's a scar that offers intriguing clues about the moon's past. Scientists are keen to explore this region for its potential to reveal secrets about the moon's inner structure and the history of impacts in the solar system. Another interesting feature is the lunar mosaic, a series of mysterious flat-topped hills, possibly volcanic in origin. These unique landforms add to the intrigue and scientific interest of the moon's far side. So as we journey through the cosmos, remember that the moon, our closest celestial neighbor, holds more mysteries than our eyes can see. The far side, with its unique landscape and untold stories, is a testament to the endless wonders of space exploration. So the dark side is not so dark after all. We've journeyed through some fascinating facts about our mysterious moon. We've seen it as more than just a rock floating in the night sky, but as an integral part of our existence here on Earth. An object shrouded in an enigmatic aura, brimming with secrets yet to be unveiled. Let's jog our memory and revisit some of the most intriguing revelations. We began our journey learning about the Moon's formation, a cataclysmic event that saw a Mars-sized body collide with Earth, spewing debris into space, which eventually coalesced to form our Moon. We then discovered the Moon's unique rotation, synchronized perfectly with its orbit around Earth, resulting in the same face always greeting us. This leads us to the Moon's gravitational pull, a force so potent it influences the ebb and flow of our oceans, creating the tides we're familiar with. Our journey took a surprising turn as we uncovered the presence of moonquakes, shaking the lunar surface with a force comparable to earthquakes. And then, one of the most exciting revelations of all, we found water on the moon. Not just a few droplets, but potentially large quantities hidden in shadowy craters, offering a vital resource for future lunar inhabitants. We delved into the Moon's profound influence on Earth, from its role in stabilizing our planet's axial tilt to its impact on our culture, mythology, and science. And who could forget the dark side of the Moon, a realm unseen from Earth shrouded in mystery and sparking the imagination of explorers and dreamers alike. Finally, we've come to understand that our Moon, this seemingly silent satellite, is in fact a dynamic and active celestial body, with its own seismic activity weather phenomena, and geological history. As we conclude this journey, let's not forget that these 30 facts are but a glimpse into the moon's mystery.
As we continue exploring our universe, there's no doubt we'll uncover even more lunar mysteries. If you enjoyed this journey through the moon's mysteries, then we have a small request. If you learned something new today, give this video a like. It helps us to continue bringing you more fascinating content like this. We also want to hear from you. What was your favorite moon fact that we shared? Or perhaps you have a question or a lunar mystery of your own you'd like to discuss. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. We love engaging with our community of curious explorers. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. This way, you won't miss out on our future journeys into the cosmos. Together, we'll continue to unravel the mysteries of our universe. Thank you for joining us on this lunar adventure. Until next time, keep exploring.